Hey guys, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to create the mixture for uh, airbrushing Vallejo model color paints. Uh, I posted this on Facebook, got a lot of responses and a lot of questions. So I thought a visual demonstration would be better. So you need the airbrush flow improver. And I have a little 17 mil bottle here. Uh, it's just an easy guide and it's easy to use. That's why I use it. You can make it in whatever bottle you want. So the equation is 70% of the flow improver. Followed by 30% of the airbrush thinner. And again, you can use a bigger bottle uh, and adjust as needed. I just do this because it's easier for me and that bottle goes a long way to be honest. And the last part of this is about 10 drops and again they don't have to be exact drops because the uh, retarder is a it it's, doesn't squeeze out exactly uh, you know exact drops uh, and my bottle was a little stuck right there at the clean the tip of it but hopefully you can see the uh, goopy stuff so it comes out and you know it comes out in goopiness and doesn't come out exact so guess about 10 drops uh, worth try to keep them about equal And then when you're done, you want to shake this mixture up uh, really well. Um, you want it to be, you know, uh, shaken up and mixed thoroughly. So I'm going to shake it right now. For this demonstration, I'm going to use uh, red paint uh, just for visual uh, uh, ease. It's no other reason. So uh, we're going to demonstrate how it sprays first on a white sheet of paper, uh, just for uh, demonstration purposes. All right, so uh, that's my trusty uh, Badger uh, Renegade. And I like to add in the drops first. Uh, this helps lubricate the needle. So I'm adding in five drops exactly, as you can see. And then shake the hell out of the paint bottle. You really got to shake acrylic paints, or any paints to be honest. And I'm going to add in six drops of the acrylic paint. And even though this is only six drops, it's going to give me a lot of paint. I mean, Vallejo paints go a long way. So what I do to mix the paints is I use the back flush technique. This little tool is a uh, Hardenstein back, back flush uh, nozzle uh, thing that I purchased, and it seems to work on my Badger, so I use it instead of... Uh, using my hand or, or a q-tip or something that could potentially bend the needle. Just gonna quick do a test, blurt it out a little bit, and there we go. And right off the bat, I'm getting nice, really nice lines here, medium lines, small lines, and really nice fine lines. I know you can't really tell, unfortunately. it's uh, I don't have the greatest camera, but the lines are really, really nice. The atomization of the, of the paint is fantastic, so it looks uh, smooth your eyes should be able to see any graininess from the line um, and that's what I'm getting with the fine lines here I'm using a 0.2 millimeter needle for this and this is the the kind of result I can get and then if I want to go a little bit further uh, the badger isn't designed for large paintwork so but um, you can see that I can the pad atomization of the paint is still fantastic now my air pressure is at about 20 psi uh, you will need to adjust your PSI based on what you're trying to do. So, for example, you would add in more mixture, uh, the thinning, thinner mixture to the paint, um, and lower your air pressure if you're trying to do modeling um, for World War II stuff, etc. And another thing that I noticed people kept commenting on is back flushing, and you shouldn't back flush. Yes, that's somewhat true. If you're using solvent type paints, back flushing will eventually damage your airbrush. And having used, uh, you know, Model Master enamels. When I was a kid, I can definitely attest to this. But you're, this is a pure acrylic. It's not like a Tamiya acrylic, uh, which is part lacquer. So it won't really damage your airbrush at all. Um, all you need to do is eventually, once um, you know, depending on how often you use your airbrush, airbrush. But you need to do a deep clean, and uh, and it's fine. It does not damage the airbrush. It does not damage any of the seals, etc. Because I only use um, their recommended thinner, or actually a home braid thinner as well to clean my airbrush. I do not use harsh solvents uh, at all. So it will not damage your airbrush whatsoever. Back flushing is fine. I know that a lot of people are just, ah, 
but uh, as you can see the coverage is fantastic I mean really really beautiful coverage and the good thing about uh, Vallejo acrylics um, um, is that you control how you want the look of the of the the paint here so as you can see I start off really nice and and I can build up to a dark red if I want and here I'm doing a hard edge camo if I would like I won't I won't even need a uh, uh, you know some sort of barrier like a, a blue tack or, or a piece of paper to do the hard edge I can get it a really nice line um, just with this uh, and again I, I know you can't tell too much too well and I will get a better camera I promise but it's uh, I can control the paint really nicely and I can control as I said how I want the paint to look as well do I want it to be a deeper color when I airbrush and I can build up the colors. This is really important if you're somebody who uses pre-shading for your models. This way you can control the look of the pre-shade afterwards. Uh, you can do the same with solvent paints, but the problem is with just a quick slip up, they disappear. The, the, the pre-shading disappears really, really quickly. So uh, you always have to be a little bit careful. This is uh, a little bit more forgiving in that realm. And you can see that I'm airbrushing. It's uh, no issues whatsoever. It's spraying beautifully. I'm not, uh, you know, getting any runs. I'm not getting any um, issues paint drying. I haven't had to put my airbrush aside and take a brush and wipe the needle. Nothing, because this flow really keeps the paint nice and smooth. And one of the key things is this particular mixture. I I really worked uh, a lot on. I experimented with and to get this mixture because. It's consistent. Yes, you can use the thinner and you'll get good results, but then if the weather changes, the thinner might not work exactly. You can do the same with the flow improver by itself, and yeah, one day it's going to work great. And if something you have humidity, um, it may not work that well. And this mixture, I find, works in every type of weather environment. Um, I've been in California. It worked in our you know dry uh, environment where I was at, uh, in Virginia where I live. Uh, the humidity, which was a, a pain it works I mean it just gives you consistent results and that's why I recommend this mixture I also recommend you only use Vallejo products I have tried this mixture with other uh, non Vallejo products and it does not work it there is some sort of issues I, I don't know what the chemistry is but it just works only with Vallejo products as you notice it's already to dry for the most part I can touch it with my finger um, I don't need fingerprints it won't stick etc so it dries pretty well as well. Uh, so give it about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. And let's say you need to do a hard edge camo and uh, you need to do some masking. Um, as long as you detach the tape a little, you're good to go. I've never had any issues. Uh, you can see the some of the model pictures that I posted, in particular the Sky Raider. Uh, because of the nature of the camouflage on there, I used uh, I cut templates made out uh, from tape and taped them right away. Uh, I was done painting the entire Sky Raider within 30-40 minutes. I don't like to spend hours and hours and hours just painting one model. Um, I build models for my office, uh, for colleagues at my office. I work at the FAA and, and we, you know, we have a lot of models uh, of, of aviation stuff. Um, and I do it from personal, so I do a lot of airbrushing. I just don't have the time to, to spend hours and hours for paint to dry and, and, and do that. But as you can see here, on this test piece and by the way it is prime um, you will have to use a primer with acrylics uh, you can get away with it but they're very fragile so you have to be very careful if you don't use a primer but if you use a primer they're they're pretty solid um, solvent paints you know they bite into the plastic a little so they that's why they're a little more stable but also the primer gives it a really nice uh, coat to hang on to but it uniform it makes the entire model uniform and you see this in a lot of models where the canopy looks a little opaque or different, uh, the painted canopy, to the rest of the model. It's because they didn't, they didn't make the entire paint surface uniform. So I highly recommend using primer. Primer will also show you any flaws that you have, uh, you know, seams that haven't completely uh, uh, been uh, checked or cleared, uh, filled. And um, I've seen so many people, wonderful modelers on YouTube, some top-notch guys who, you know, they didn't use primer and then you see at the end of the paint oh dang it there's a scene there and it just ruins the entire model i've seen it at shows i've seen it so much i i really recommend you use a primer any primer is really nice uh in this case i'm using the badger uh Steinal res but whatever primer you use uh, you know use a primer i highly recommend that so uh we're coming towards the end of this video uh hopefully you guys liked it as you can see the paint is flowing beautifully i can get 
great coverage. Uh, I'm spraying um, on the uh, test piece here uh, wet paint so you can see that it's going down beautifully and this uh, mixture is self leveling it out so it's a smooth finish. That is what you're going for when you're airbrushing. A smooth beautiful finish uh, from your paint and, and this is clearly that um, especially if you're, gonna, if you're an air, um, car modeler that is a very very important a smooth beautiful uh, surface finisher and this gets you that every time. Um, and there you go. All right, folks, if you have any questions, um, please let me know. Um, you know, I'm happy to answer any questions and, and, and maybe shed some more light on this if you need. Have a good day.